development of endosperm when second male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus it forms pen that is primary endosperm nucleus here male gamete is haploid secondary nucleus is diploid so when fusion takes place primary endosperm nucleus which is formed is triploid when this primary endosperm nucleus undergoes mitotic division it forms nutritive tissue called endosperm endosperm is triploid in post fertilization changes within the ovule the embryo and endosperm are seen to develop simultaneously formation of triploid endosperm nucleus triggers cell division which leads to formation of endosperm there are three types of endosperm on the basis of mode of development these are nuclear type cellular type and halobial type nuclear type is the most common found in 161 angiospermic families here the primary endosperm nucleus rapidly divides mitotically without wall formation to produce large number of free nuclei a big central vacuole appears in the center of the cell pushing the nuclei towards the periphery later walls develop between the nuclei hence multicellular endosperm is formed but in several cases cell wall formation remains incomplete example wheat sunflower and coconut coconut has multicellular endosperm in the outer part and free nuclear as well as vacuolated endosperm in the center cellular type in some plants division of triploid primary endospermic nucleus is immediately followed by wall formation so that endosperm is cellular right from the beginning it is a mostly observed in 72 families of dicot example balsam petunia adoxa halobial type it occurs in the order halobials of monocotyledons in this case the first division of primary endosperm nucleus is followed by a transverse wall which divides the cell unequally the smaller cell is called chalazal cell and larger cell is the micropylar cell then the nuclei in each cell divides by free nuclear division and then wall develop between nuclei in micropylar chamber it is intermediate between cellular and nuclear type example aspodilus